Undeniably, there was always a magic to the atmosphere when these two colossal clubs collide. Today is Judgment Day in so many respects, and we're live at the Etihad for Manchester City versus Spurs. And a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Etihad Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary. And alongside me is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Rodri in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. And Spurs will go with this starting 11. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the main striker today is Harry Kane. Stadium. I'm Derek Ray and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson and we've got Premier League action coming right up. It is Manchester City up against Tottenham Hotspur. Well Derek, when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Now nothing comes of it. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson begins in goal. Joao Cancelo starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne starts with Rodri in central midfield. And the lone striker today is Erling Haaland. Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Dejan Kulusevski plays with Hyung Min Son out wide. And the focal point in attack today, Harry Kane. Real chance. The well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Phil Foden. City moving the ball forwards. What can they do from here? Into the centre from Walker. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. Well, Kevin De Bruyne, one of the complete midfield players in the modern game. Stuart, what do you expect we'll see from him this time around? Well, he's the most creative player on the field. He can run with the ball, he can get himself out of tight situations, he can see a pass, he's very creative with his play. I think he's going to be the outstanding player today. Emerson. Nicely timed tackle. Walker. Going well. But timely defending when it mattered. Given away by Tottenham.
Holland. Can he put them in front? Yes is the emphatic answer. And you have to say it was on the cards. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. And so the action continues. Will there be a response from Tottenham now? There needs to be. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Tremendous ball played through. Well, offside, but a tight call. Well, that was really close. It was almost the perfect run, wasn't it? Foden. Real chance. Just had to keep his concentration to the maximum, and he did. City hungry to add to their lead. It's a corner. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Who's going to get on the end of it? It might still be problematic. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Well, it petered out. A Spurs free kick it's going to be. Well, inching towards the break and City in front here. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your assessment as regards their performance. Well, they've worked hard and played well to be in front here, but they now need to keep their focus as we approach half-time. And we will have just one. And he's in. And still danger here. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. And so the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the Etihad. Well, you might say par for the course as far as Erling Haaland was concerned in the first half. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's been a really good display for him so far, Derek. He scored the leading goal, he's been energetic, and his movement has caused lots of problems to this back line. Can he keep it going in the second half, though? So into the second half here, and the onus is on Spurs to turn this match on its head. Ball played nicely. Will he play it in? Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Grealish. Well, they keep the ball moving. And the pass could do damage. Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, let's just take another look at this pass from Haaland. He has so much vision, and once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So, 2-0 now. Number 17, Kevin De Bruyne. chance in it goes 
but it will not stand offside Stewart well it looked close didn't it he certainly thought so he's making that clear to the linesman now Out of play for a Manchester City throw-in. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Yes, it might be on for them once more. And blocked for now. Taken away from Son. Fabier, Son, can he get one back? That's high level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. And Manchester City will go to their bench. It's a short one. And a Tottenham Hotspur free kick coming up. Yeah. And looking towards the back post. Well, I suspected that might be difficult for the keeper, but I was wrong. And pressure on the keeper. Walker. Walker. De Bruyne. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Holland. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant, Manchester City excellent. Yeah, clearly the better side. Oh, Stewart, opportunity here, and not cleared away properly. Well, the goalkeeper got there in the end. Well, his recovery is brilliant here, so athletic. De Bruyne. Holland. Untidy in possession. Bentancur. Oh, great vision. Kane. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. And it was close. Well, his skill level is so high. You're absolutely right. That's a great effort on the volley. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Rodri. Five minutes left. Foden. Now time just challenged magnificently. Teammates available. Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Grealish. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Lucas Moura. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Holland. And that is that full time here and a win for City. Your verdict? Well, Derek, it was a comfortable win in the end. Fully deserved their victory because they dominated every aspect of the game. It was a really good result for them here today. Very much the organiser in chief, Kevin De Bruyne. 
what in particular did you see in this match from the talented Belgian? Well, he was a major reason why they won today. He was so reliable and he inspires those around him.